So I have all my cables all the way to the NVR and then all these ends are going to go out to the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a hole through the socket where the camera's going to go and then I'm going to stick the fish rod through from the outside and then I'm going to come into the attic, attach my cable to the fish rod and pull it back through from the outside. That's my hole and it's going to be a two inch hole for the camera. Okay, so I have my Klein tools, fish rods. I'm gonna pass that through that hole there and uh, attach my cable, pull it through to the camera. So we got a fish rod in the hole. I'm gonna try and guide it all the way to that attic access. So I'm gonna attach my cables. So my fish rod's coming from that hole. Got my Cat5 tape to it, which is coming from over there. Now I can just pull it back through to the camera. When you strip the cat 5e you want to make sure that there's no nicks around where you scored. So you want to check around that there's no nicks. If there's nicks then if you can use the pull string pull it back a few inches and then just trim out the outer sheathing so that there's no nicks. So it's a 568B pinout. So it's white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Basically, you want this to line up like that so that the blue part gets crimped down on, the, on this part here and so that all your wires are reach right to the tip. You should be able to see your wires right at the end. Make sure when you're putting it into the connector that you have everything in the right order. The order is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. When you have it in your Cat5 or RJ45 crimper, just uh, give it a couple clicks and then it should be good. So that's what it looks like. Well, you see all the wires at the very tip. So just plug that in, put a little tape around it. If it's going in a soffit, you don't need to use the weatherproof seal because it won't ever get wet. Just tape around it. There's another connection here that you don't need to use. It's only if you don't have a power over ethernet. So since we have power over ethernet from the network video recorder. We just have to have the one Cat5e cable. We don't actually need a power source because it's powered over the ethernet. If you were plugging it into a router, you would need to have a power source here. But since you're plugging it straight into the NVR, you just need your Cat5 cable. If you were going to install it with the wiring exposed, like if you ran it along the wall or something, you would use, you would first put your weatherproof boot on your cable before you put your RJ45 on and then when you click your RJ45 in you would just seal the weatherproof boot. In our situation because we have it going into the soffit we don't need to put a weatherproof boot we can just put it right in. So I have my four cables coming through this mud ring here so I'm going to install these four jacks in this cover plate. When you're terminating a keystone jack you want to make sure that when you're using the punch down tool that you have the blade facing out so that you don't cut the wire before the connection. So we got four jacks done. Now we're just going to plug them into this cover plate and put it on the wall. So I made up three six foot cables to go from this wall plate to the NVR here. So if you're installing the cameras with wires exposed outside, the this package comes with these watertight connectors, so you'd have to put this on before you put your RJ45 on. The package comes with these tiny set screws, so after you adjust your camera angle, you want to put these set screws in and tighten them. Another camera installed. Three cameras are installed and adjusted. Look how clear it is.
I have the mobile app on my phone so I'm able to actually see all the cameras no matter where I am as long as I have an internet connection like data here's a view of what the cameras look like at night